Hi. Today we're going to talk about epinephrine administration. The Safe Access to Vital Epinephrine Save Act was recently approved by the South Carolina Legislature. It allows school districts to store supplies of epinephrine auto-injectors for identified school staff to use in emergencies for students with unknown allergic reactions. Our school district will have five responders in each school trained to administer an epinephrine auto-injector. At the February 10, 2014 school board meeting, the district decided to use the Get Trained School Nursing Program from the National Association of School Nurses as the training program for the five responders in each school. At the end of this video, you will know the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis and have the skills to administer an epinephrine auto-injector. So what is an allergic reaction? An allergic reaction occurs when the body's immune system mistakenly attacks a food protein or normally harmless substance. It perceives the food or substance as a harmful or foreign one. Exposure to the offending food or allergen may trigger the sudden release of chemicals, including histamine, resulting in symptoms of an allergic reaction. The symptoms may be mild or severe and may progress over minutes or hours. Anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that can be life-threatening. It needs to be treated immediately. The drug of choice is epinephrine. Your response to an allergic reaction involves removing the student from the allergen if possible or remove the allergen from the student. Assessing the student's symptoms. Administering an epinephrine auto-injector without delay, calling 911 for an ambulance, and know that epinephrine may need to be repeated in 5 to 20 minutes. Now we'll look at the signs and symptoms of allergic reactions. These signs and symptoms can either be mild or progress to a severe reaction. A student with a mild reaction might come to you with the following concerns an itchy mouth, a few hives or red raised bumps around the mouth or face that may be mildly itchy, a complaint of a mild upset stomach or stomach discomfort. You would want to pay attention to mild symptoms to be sure they don't progress to a severe reaction. If a student with a known allergy has one or more of the following symptoms, it is indicative of a severe anaphylactic reaction shortness of breath, wheezing, repetitive cough, pale or blue skin, weak, faint pulse, dizzy or confused, throat is tight, hoarse, or the student may have trouble breathing and swallowing, tongue and lips are swelling, many hives over the student's body. So now you've identified that a student is experiencing the symptoms in a life-threatening allergic reaction. How do you know what to do? Let's look at epinephrine administration so you'll know what to do and be able to react quickly. Remember, epinephrine is the drug of choice for anaphylaxis and must be administered without delay when exposure occurs. Research has shown that when epinephrine is delayed, it leads to poor outcomes, including death. It is important to be prepared and trained to give the epinephrine promptly when needed. Epinephrine auto-injectors come with instructions and trainers are available for you to practice with. So here's a demonstration on how to administer the EpiPen. The EpiPen is going to come in something like this. It has a yellow cap on it. And all this is, is is a holder. But what I'm going to use today to demonstrate, this looks exactly like what's in here. But this is a trainer. So when you're going to administer the EpiPen, hold it right here. Do not hold it up here or down here. You want to hold it right in the middle so you don't accidentally stick yourself. You're going to pull off the gray cap.
and holding it, you're going to go to the outer thigh and jab it in. And you can do this through the clothing. Jab it, hold it for 10 seconds, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go, and then massage it for 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As we finish our time together, let's review the steps to follow in an anaphylactic emergency. Give the epinephrine auto-injector without delay. Call 911 to transport the student to the hospital. Have school administration call the parents. Never leave the student alone. The student needs to be observed at all times. You can do this. You know what to do when a student is having a life-threatening allergic reaction. You know how to give epinephrine. Thank you for your time and commitment to the health and safety of the students in our school.